Hi, I'm Dr. Deb, and this is Sahifa, May 26th. I have the pleasure today of having two fifth grade teachers and our elementary science coordinator, along with the three winners of the elementary science competition in the NISA region. They were number one. This group of three fifth graders was number one in the region among all schools for the project that they put together, for the hypothesis, for the question that they had in regards to scientific research. So I'd like to take a few minutes and ask the teachers to introduce themselves and talk a bit about the project, and then we'll go to the students themselves. Okay, thank you. Uh, my name's Nick Mitchell, and I'm the elementary uh, school science coordinator. So I got to work uh, closely with the team, developing, seeing their project really grow along the way. <clears throat> the goal of the NISA Virtual Science Fair is really to develop science inquiry skills. So to help uh, students begin to think like scientists. So skills like making good observations, collecting organized data, and then critically thinking about those, uh, those results and communicating them uh, to an audience. That's what we were trying to develop, and these students did an outstanding job of that. Hi, I'm Lauren Elliott. Uh, I'm a grade five classroom teacher, um, classroom teacher of these students for science. Um, we began this project in January, right after the winter break. Um, we originally gave them an example experiment to follow, which was Mentos and Coke, which was a lot of fun, I think, for all of them. Um, and they referred back to that experiment as we went. Um, it's been a lot of hard work, so it's been great. And I'm Je Jen Lambert. Uh, these students are from my homeroom, and I'm very proud of them. As their homeroom teacher, I gave them uh, some extra time before school each morning and helped them um, use their recess time and emailed parents and just gave them all the extra little support uh, that I could. They did a fabulous job. So let's go to the students. We'll ask you to introduce yourselves first and then let's go to the actual project. Hi, I'm team, ca team captain of Team 29 and my name is Tisiana Barnwell. Hi, my name is Aubrey Mo. And my name is Rami Wakili. Okay, so our problem was, what is the effect of number six heating oil on a loading density in an aquatic environment? Okay, so how we got this problem was we were thinking about oil spills, right? And we, we always knew about the animals. They were always talking about the animals. But we didn't know much about the plants. So we wanted to know more about the plants. So we came up with this experiment. So our hypothesis was um, that the Elodia Densa won't grow because the, the oil is blocking the sunlight beca because it's like dark and it can't come through so it dies. During this experiment, we used a lot of material and like we used five bowls and each bowl had eight plants in it. And then we had to like have a lot of water oil, which is a black oil like really dark black oil, and we have to have a rule. We have, first we have to measure the plant before we start on, so like to see if it grows or not. And then like when we put the oil, we have to be really careful because we did one mistake, it, uh, like everything came here. As you can see here, Tiziana was really careful by putting the oil. Okay, so this is the average plant like that we found. And as you can see here, it keeps going down, and then at 100 milliliters, it goes back up. And then when it gets back to 200 milliliters, it goes down. So what we found out is that when the oil gets inside the Elodia Denza plant, it reproduces cells, which makes it, um, which makes it grow more, like you can, as it as it shows here. So that so when it reproduces. When it reproduces, a lot of the time it grows more. But then, if it reproduces too many cells, it will eventually explode without an explosion. Basically, it will die. So that's what the same thing happened with our average number of stolons here. It went. It's down, and then it goes back up, down, up. So that's the same thing happened, it reproduced itself. So in our conclusion, we found that um, that's why the oil went in the plants, because it would reproduce itself, but then it dies, and Rami has a better explanation of that. Um, well, we found 
found out that the oil kills the plants, and in the end, it um, the 200 milliliter died the most. But the the zero, the controlled group, grew some snails inside of it. Yeah, there were aquatic snails. Aquatic snails inside of the experiment. Well, I think that was because I think the algae made the aquatic snails grow. Because there was a bit of algae in it. Okay. So, in addition to the actual problem that you had and the interesting results you found out in your conclusion, what, um, what I've observed is that you learned a tremendous amount about the scientific method. The scientific method being exactly the same as that which is done in middle school and high school. And I bet you also learned a lot about teamwork too. Yes, a lot. So congratulations to these fifth graders and their teachers. Um, you receive, I understand, a trophy. Is that correct? Yep. That comes to the school, that will come to the school next fall. They were no the number one winners out of 10 different international schools that competed. And those 10 were, of course, chosen from many, many entries. So congratulations. All right, thanks. That's Sahifa this week. Bye-bye.